Argentina has elected an unusual president, a man who shouts, Liberty. Javier Malay recently became the world's first libertarian president. He campaigned with a chainsaw, saying he'd cut the size and power of government. Malay is the unusual politician who won election talking about freedom. Now he's in charge of the third largest economy in Latin America. An economy with big problems like horrible inflation. People save their whole lives only to find their savings wiped out. People in Argentina are struggling with one of the highest inflation rates in the world. It happened because these Argentine rulers awarded huge subsidies to unions and special interest groups, thereby running big deficits. Tengo que decírselos de nuevo. No hay plata. The previous government dealt with that by just printing more. Policies to counteract this deficit, like printing money, only make things worse. Malay understands that governments can't create wealth. El Estado la destruye. El Estado no puede dar nada porque no produce nada. Libertarian attempts to shrink government haven't gone far in the United States. But in Argentina, Malay won big, won by three million votes. The media then said he can't pass his reforms. He's not going to be able to do any of those things. He has no experience and not, he does not have an economic team. Um, so he's going to fail. But he hasn't failed yet. He was able to repeal rent control, price control. Daniel DiMartino, who escaped Venezuela to become an economist in America, points out that Malay has already done a lot. Now he's pursuing labor reform. He eliminated all restrictions on exports and imports all with one sign of a pen in one day. He can just do that without Congress? The president of Argentina has a lot more power than the president of the United States. Ministerio de Turismo y Deporte, afuera! Malay campaign promising to eliminate afuera. entire government agencies. Ambiente y desarrollo sostenible, afuera! Ministerio de las Mujeres y Género y Diversidad, afuera! Department for Women, Gender, Gender and Diversity, out. That department reminds me of a very famous government agency in Venezuela, which is the Vice Ministry for Supreme Social Happiness. They're just government agencies to hire their cronies and keep them voting for them and appearing in protests. Cutting government spending is a risky thing for a politician to do. People get ticked off when you end subsidies. There have been riots in countries where they cut those subsidies. What's incredible about Millet is that he was able to win on the promise of cutting subsidies. Se acabó la joda. Se acabaron los privilegios de la política. Se acabó. Almost no American politician ever wins promising to cut spending. But Argentinians are fed up with the status quo. Once one of the richest countries in the world, there are many reasons behind Argentina's decline. A hundred years ago, Argentina was one of the richest countries in the world. When you become rich, and then you think money grows on trees, then you forget why you became rich. And then you gradually lose it democratically with handouts, an ever-growing state, one intervention leads to another, until we are in a situation like the one we have today. Malay wants to help Argentinians escape massive inflation by making the dollar Argentina's currency. He campaigned holding this dollar bill with his face on it. Part of a widely criticized campaign to use the U.S. dollar. Widely criticized by people who think you can alleviate inflation with price controls. Prices were controlled by the government of everything, eggs, meat, uh, gasoline, and now they're not. Argentina's socialist government had tried to control most everything. The regulations in Argentina were such that everything that was not explicitly legal was illegal. And the mentality is now changed with Millet's decree, all by executive order, that is basically everything that's not illegal is legal. One regulation loosened the rules on Argentinian airlines. And now even airfares are cheaper than bus fares. He scrapped the laws that said, buy in Argentina. Yeah, America has some of those. And it only makes poor people poor. Why? Because it increases cost. Why shouldn't Argentinians be able to buy Brazilian pencils? Why shouldn't they be able to buy Chilean grapes? Because we want to support Argentina. 
Well, guess what? Not every country is able to produce everything at the lowest cost. Imagine if we had to produce bananas in America. Malay has also been selling government-run industries. State airline, the state passenger railway, the military railways, there are really hundreds of companies that he is going to privatize. Argentina stocks are soaring. Stocks rose sharply when Malay was elected. The decisive victory of Javier Malay. Yo filosóficamente soy anarcocapitalista. Anarcho-capitalism is the idea that all government should be abolished. Private companies would provide even the police, the courts, the military. So far, Millet has not proposed that. Most of us libertarians don't Most go that far. Most libertarians don't support anarcho-capitalism. They support a small, limited government. De Rosa es Milton por Milton Friedman. Oh, Milton. Yeah, Milton. Milton! Millet is an economist, one who even named his dogs after other libertarian economists. One is named Murray after anarcho-capitalist Murray Rothbard. Robert and Lucas get their names from Robert Lucas, who won a Nobel Prize for increasing understanding of inflation. Most people don't even know who these guys are. The fact that he's naming his dogs after these famous economists show that he's really a nerd. Um, and I think it's, it's a good thing to have an economics nerd president of a country. Especially one corrupted by big government. We have never seen something like this happen democratically in Latin America. Ever. What can Americans learn from Argentina? We need to keep America prosperous such that we never are in the spot of Argentina in the first place, and that requires free markets. Yes, free markets work. Hope is reforms get a chance to succeed. I'll keep reporting on Malay's Argentinian revolution. If you want to help, please click that button.